how to find and interpret your YouTube data so you can explode your views now you may have been making YouTube videos for a while or you may just be starting out either way you need to look at your data your data is super important you need to look at this on a daily basis in this video what I'm gonna do is walk you through some of the data on my channel and let you kind of see how it works and what we're looking at so let's run over to my computer right now and let's take a look at my data so i can share with you how to find your data and how to interpret this data okay now the first thing i want to do is i want to go to youtube studio which is right here and once i get into youtube studio it's going to open up a lot of possibilities for me here guys uh, and i want to walk you through all of this here um, my channel is not huge it's growing so I don't mind sharing stuff with you um, current subscribers right now is 5606 which is very nice uh, and this is the dashboard so you're gonna be taken to this dashboard right here in the beginning um, so then what we want to do is maybe go over to our analytics which is right here and on analytics the first thing you're gonna see is an overview uh, it says uh, my channel got 7,379 views in the last 28 days so I'm getting there now keep in mind in the beginning I had zero I had zero okay so you have all these other tabs up here so let's click on some of these I've got reach right here um, reach is kind of interesting uh, this is also set usually to the last 28 days but you can set this when you're looking at any of this data 90 days 365 days lifetime whatever you want to do uh, you can pick a month down here you can do custom whatever you'd like to do um, so it's got my impressions which are down right now 18 percent don't let this scare you sometimes your numbers are going to go up sometimes they're going to go down now i look over here impressions click through rate is 6.6 percent .6%, which is up 16 percent which is nice okay my views are down 921 right now less than usual it could be the time of year it could be whatever uh, then i click on engagement right here uh, engagement is kind of interesting this is the watch time hours so i'm at 390 was it 395.7 which is 44.3 less than usual okay so whatever usual is uh, then I've got my average view duration right here which is 3.13 minutes which is down 3% right now uh, I click on my audience right here uh, audience is pretty interesting I like this um, this really shows what's going on on my channel now if you look at this line down here the bottom line is returning viewers but look at new viewers look at how many new viewers I'm getting constantly now new views are way 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 up which is pretty cool and then I'm gonna look at revenue here now this revenue guys this can scare you okay this can actually scare you so don't don't let this scare you bottom line you have what's called RPM this is what uh, revenue per mill tells you how much you earn per thousand views um, so I'm earning $26.75 this is extraordinarily high this number here is normally between one and six dollars it's because of the niche I'm in that this is so very high don't expect this number to be $26.75 don't use my channel as a benchmark okay now there's probably channels out there that get a whole lot higher than this uh, but this is what I am expect maybe one to five RPM uh, playback based CPM this is what they're actually charging if you see here playback based CPM uh, means effective playback based cost per mill and tells you how much advertisers paid per thousand monetized uh, playbacks now this is what the advertisers are paying this is what I'm getting $26.75 so next part that we want to look at here and we, when we look at all this stuff guys we can scroll down here we can see what you know all these different months were how much money I earned in all these different months um, as uh, your estimated ad revenue you can look over here you can look at skippable uh, video ads right here display ads bumper ads all the different ad types it'll also show me all the different videos and how much money those videos actually generated then I can go over here to comments now I can look at all the different comments and I've got a bunch to respond to here which uh, is interesting to do uh, but I've got to do that uh, and then I can look at content right here uh, content is just my videos but this is broken down into several different things so here's my uploads and here's my lives right here so you can see the live videos right here uh, and you can look at all the views now here's something interesting let's go to uploads real quick and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sort by views because what it's doing is showing the most recent uploads right now 
Now this video here got 88,543 views. This got 58,000. So all these videos here at the top got thousands of views. Let's go ahead and sort this by date. Okay. So that one had 88,000. Look, this one's only got six. This one's got 34, 29, 27, 16, 26, 29. I don't let this bother me that I got 51 views. I don't let that bother me because I got one that's got 88,000 views. And guys, this is what you've got to understand when you're looking at your statistics here, it can be all over the board. Now, the next thing I want to look at down here is settings. Uh, and if we go to settings here, we have general. Okay. And the only default unit I have here is dollars. Okay. So I'm going to leave that alone. I'm not going to mess with that. Uh, and then I've got my channel right here and what I've done for my channel. And this is what you need to do for yours too, is put your basic information in here. What are the keywords that people are going to be searching for, for your channel? So I've got internet business, online business, jrfisher.com, JR Fisher, uh, how to YouTube, make videos, all these different terms that I feel are going to work for me and my channel. And I've got 434 out of 500 that are allowed here. And then I've got advanced settings right here. So uh, this is where you're going to set your channel. If it's for kids or not, if it's set for kids, you can't partake in these advertising dollars. So you want to keep that uh, in mind, uh, feature eligibility. Uh, and as you can see, uh, my default features and my features that require fo phone verification, these are all enabled. I've done all of this right here. Upload defaults. Upload defaults is pretty important guys. Now what this means is I don't have an upload title that is on every single video because every video is going to be different. I do have visibility is public on every single one. I do have certain tags that I put on here for my uploads. Okay. But I can change those tags. Uh, and then I have things in this description box. So I have some things where people can download some stuff here. I have my recommendations for different books right here. Um, I've got different text in here. I've got teleprompters, uh, funnel makers, all these different things here that are actually, uh, affiliate links. Uh, I have all of those set up in here. Um, and that way, um, they're always on every single video I upload. I don't have to worry about it. You can do this too, guys. It's not hard to do. Uh, and then I have some of my other videos in here. So if somebody wants to watch about, you know, doing WordPress website or a uh, real way to make money online or whatever it is, they can click on these and that will keep them on the channel because I have these links here because they have these opportunities to watch more videos. Uh, and then I may have some hashtags in here that always pop up. Uh, I have different ways to get a hold of me. I have Facebook groups in here. So as you can see, I've made good use of this area right here. Now let's go ahead and close this right here. But another thing you can do, if we go back to views again, and we sort my videos by views and let's look at some of these other ones here, 88,000, 58,000. Since these videos did good. Okay. I may want to consider what doing similar videos because these videos did well. People like these videos, seven ways to earn money with a laptop did very, very well. Uh, it got almost a hundred thousand views and it's still getting views and it's got 394 comments on it. So I may want to look at this data. This is how you use the data. I may want to look at this data and make more videos like that. Okay. Uh, what else can I show you in here? Uh, monetization is right here. If you're missing some of this stuff, you got to scroll. Okay. Um, so I am monetized on my videos right here. Uh, you can do customization right here. If you wanted uh, a channel trailer, if you want to have a tra channel trailer in there, uh, I also have an audio library in here. Uh, if I want to use that. So these are all the different things I can use and songs and all that, uh, YouTube actually will supply to me and I can use their, their music and their sound effects and all these different things for free. Uh, I have an area in here that is for competitors. Okay. Uh, you must authorize your channel with vidIQ to use this feature. This is a vidIQ feature and I, I have vidIQ and I also have TubeBuddy. Um, I will put a link in the description below so that you can actually look at TubeBuddy uh, and you can get it for free. So I do recommend you start off with TubeBuddy. Um, and then, you know, there's a couple other spots in here. Uh, I think I went through everything else, but guys, bottom line is when you have a YouTube channel, it's not a matter of just having the channel. It's utilizing all those tools that YouTube gives you. Now you think about it. They've got all these tools in there. Why would they give them to you if they weren't useful? Right? 
and if you have access to these tools and you're not using them why not why not use these things i mean just the simple one where you can look at your videos that are getting the most views and do similar videos that way you're going to get more views you start giving your audience what they want youtube is not a platform where you make videos about what you want to make videos about youtube is a platform where you make videos where people are already searching for that subject or that idea and you satisfy that need that's only if you want to grow your channel okay if you just want to do random videos that's entirely up to you but if you want to grow your channel if you want to get subscribers you want to have more people watching your videos you're going to want to make videos that people are interested in that's a very very important distinction i didn't do that in the beginning i just randomly picked stuff and that's not the way to do it so you'll want to use a tool like tubebuddy uh, which you can get absolutely free there'll be a link in the description also i have a course in the description that's a 97 dollars course you can get it absolutely free all you have to do is click and learn so you do want to grab that too i really appreciate watching this video give me your comments below what are your statistics like what is your rpm what is your cpm okay let's see what it is maybe we get some comparisons going put that in the comment section below thank you so much for watching this video i really appreciate your time and attention each and every one of you who helped me grow this channel I I really appreciate you don't forget if you haven't done so already make sure you subscribe a lot of you guys are new viewers make sure you hit that subscribe button down there don't forget also ring the bell turn on all bell notifications so you're notified each and every time i go live or i upload a video just like this that way you don't miss out thank you so much for watching the video and i'll see you in the next one